All right, today's a perfect example of our crazy summer weather pattern we've had going back a couple of months. I recorded this on a Thursday, uh, late July. What's happening is there's another severe thunderstorm watching effect here for the Tennessee Valley, and the storms are coming in and they're dropping in from the northwest. And this has been going on for several weeks now, and it's led to some really hot days, but those hot days are broke by strong thunderstorms. It's because we've got an area of high pressure here. I'll explain this a little bit more in just a second, but this area of high pressure in Texas, they've had very little relief at all. In fact, they've been dealing with heat index values well above 100 degrees for about a month now. They've been fairly dry too, and the droughts building there. So this is where we usually are this time of year, kind of protected by an area of high pressure, and occasionally we get an isolated storm or two. One of the things about being on the outer edge of these areas of high pressure is you get both things going on. You can get strong to severe storms right on the outer edge here because this is the thunderstorm fuel. This is the Cape. And we usually have Cape this high. It's no surprise two, three, even 4,000 joules per kilogram this time of year. That's why it's so hot and muggy and oppressive out there. But what we're usually not having is this complex of thunderstorms riding around that big ridge of high pressure. So you can see why the storms get so strong is because they have plenty of fuel to develop upon and they just feed into this fuel. So 4,500 joules per kilogram, that's pretty intense. And the problem is the storms move into that and they don't really weaken. At some point in time though, the entire boundary starts to weaken. But notice here, this pattern here, this will come through Friday. We've got a front coming in Friday, but that front may not come until Friday night. So we're gonna have another one of these complexes of storms that rides along that boundary off to the east southeast and immediately behind it, as we get towards noon on Friday, we get recharged again. The Cape just goes right back up and it's gonna feed another complex of storm. The challenge is we don't know where the edge of this complex of storms is going to fire up. We don't even know that about 12 hours in advance. So if you're wondering why we've quote unquote missed the forecast, uh, we have quite a bit. It's because you're so used to us timing these fronts out and it's just nearly impossible to get that down. Notice as we get on into late Friday, we finally break down the heat and humidity as the frontal boundary moves in, and that's because that area of high pressure is gonna slide off to the southwest. So here's our 2023 summer summarized here. Notice this area in yellow. I'm gonna show you this and compare it to what we typically see. There's two different weather patterns we usually see this time of year, but you get this big area of high pressure like we have now, and it starts to move a little bit to the northeast, but then on a day like today, when we have the big storms on the outer edge of it, it backs up to the west, and that's what allows that storm track and those complexes of storms to move around it. Basically, it's called the ring of fire because you get on the outer edge of these areas of high pressure, and that's where those storm tracks all follow, and they feed right off of this area, right on that boundary with that really unstable air. This is typical summer pattern number one. We usually start out this way, big area of high pressure. Sure, we get thunderstorms underneath this. It's called a dirty area of high pressure, but we don't get the complexes of storms that ride in. Those complexes of storms will typically be north of us and north on the outer edge of this area of high pressure, and that's why the severe weather threat is usually farther north. Yeah, we get severe thunderstorms this time of year, Typically, they are from downburst winds, not these complexes of storms. Here's our secondary summertime weather pattern. It has to deal with this Bermuda High, we call it. And this is the classic example of what steers hurricanes as well. That's why the hurricanes kind of go around this area of high pressure, and that's what uh, forces them into the Gulf of Mexico and out into Texas and even into Florida on occasion. But with this, you get the strong area of high pressure out in the Atlantic. Sure, we get a few thunderstorms around here, but the main track here of those complexes of storms is out on the outer edge of this. So again, just wanted to summarize that in case you're wondering why our summer weather pattern is so out of whack. That is why it's all because of that big area high pressure and it could be worse. We could be looking at temperatures at 110, 115 like they are out in Arizona. So if you've got any questions, you can always find us on our YouTube and other social media and digital platforms.